looks like you're going after a goal this month, but there's something you need to watch out for, so stay tuned. Welcome to your November 2021 reading. At the time of my recording, we are still in October, so I will be using the Halloween deck. Um, I absolutely love it. It's totally darling. We are going to be doing my standard nine card spread. I do not have romance angels here, so we will not be looking specifically at love. We will see what we get. Hopefully, we'll get something really fantastic, and we can go from there. All right. So we have the star, the five of swords, the hermit, the four of coins, the three of wands, the five of wands, the seven of wands, the knight of swords, and the page of cups. Overall energy is that of the four of wands. Let me go ahead and let's move these up so you can see all of your cards, my dears. Now, Aries, you guys are fire signs, and I know you guys don't like me to sugarcoat things. You want me to tell it straight up. So guess what? I am going to be doing for November, the Brutal Truth Tarot is what I call it, where I will not be sugarcoating a damn thing. And if you want to hear the truth, nothing but the truth that comes out in the cards, no sugar, nothing sweet. Keep an eye out for that. All right, my loves, let me just make an adjustment on the camera. I want to make sure you can see your cards. These are a little bit big. All right. Don't let the past hold you back. All right. Aries, you are not a sign that likes to live in the past. You like to keep going. You like to, you like to kind of um, gain a sense of excitement and energy and move on forward in your life. So... Don't let the past hold you back. I'm a little surprised to see that coming in because you guys usually don't live in the past. Now, what I do see has occurred in the past because this is my standard nine card spread. This is the past, present, future. Present leaks into both directions. Past leaks into, into present. Um, I also read diagonals. So I read the X, I read the diamond, and I read a cross. And ultimately what I'm seeing here with the star, the four of coins, and the seven of wands as I'm seeing that here in the past, there was a situation in which somebody made you feel not good enough. This could be a family member. This could be a friend, very likely family, because we do have the four of wands. But it could be a romantic partner, could also be a twin flame. And in some particular situation here, Aries, you did not feel good enough for this person, or you were made to feel as if this person thought you were not good enough for them. And there's a sense that you didn't fully open up to this particular person with this four of coins in the past and very likely because you may have been fighting your own demons, you may have been going through some sort of shadow work, you may have been going through some sort of healing, ultimately following a dream, following something that was very important to you, placing your time and energy into something that was of exceeding importance to you. But with this seven of wands here, I feel like you just sort of felt like you didn't fit in or you were one of the pack, but you didn't really go with the flow like everyone else. You know, you had your own vision. You had your own vision. You had your own sense of internal guidance. And anybody that told you that was wrong, you probably had to stand up for yourself and say, no, 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 this is my, this is my direction. This is my career. This is my goal. This is my relationship. This is my desires. And I'm moving forward. So that's the past energy that we have here for you. The present energy gets a little bit better, but not by much. Um, five of swords, three of wands, knight of swords. Three of wands and four of wands are overall energy. Everything surrounds this long-term goal, this long-term desire. I feel more like it's, it's very likely a personal goal or um, career-related. And you have surrounding this waiting. Like you've been waiting for something specific, something that you know is coming up over the horizon. You sense it, you're aware of it. It is coming your way. Let's put this out so we can clarify Aries here. It's on your, it's on your path, you know it, you feel it, you sense it. 
it's coming, whatever this is. Could be money, could be a new job. You could be considering a move. You could be waiting to hear from somebody, but you know it. You know this communication is coming in with this Knight of Swords. It's almost like you sense, you, it's, it's, it's like you can hear the horse's hooves down the road, right? Like you sense it's coming, it's coming, you know it. You've been waiting, you know it, you see it, you feel it, you understand it. Whatever this is, you're aware it's up ahead. Maybe you're just getting really hyped for 2022, you know? We're getting hyped for Christmas time or December or some sort of uh, goal or desire. Five of Swords, Five of Wands surrounding this though, people are disagreeing with your direction or they will be in the very near future if you're not dealing with that now. In the near, very near future, you're going to be dealing with somebody in your life, very likely family because of this card, someone in your life who wants to be combative about why in the heck are you waiting? Hey, Aries, why are you waiting on that? Why are you not moving forward? Why aren't you going after that new job? Why are you just sitting there? Because you know it's coming, right? Why aren't you dating anybody else? Because you know somebody's coming. Why aren't you doing things my way? Somebody's saying here. You're in a long-term committed relationship. This could be your spouse. This could be your your live-in partner. So this is the why. Why, 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 why? Why aren't you doing what we want you to do? You have a, a force surrounding you both in the present and in the near future that's going to be overwhelmingly difficult. These people may feel that your past is holding you back. They might be right on that because of this particular card, but does that mean that they have the right to tell you what to do? No. Does that mean they have the right to argue with you about your direction? No, you don't have to listen to them. You can tell them go away and then hop on into hermit mode over here. Because here we have the hermit is trying to make something happen. I feel Aries that in the near future, as you roll in through, through November, you are going to be dealing with people issues. That's going to be inevitable. Um, with the Thanksgiving holiday coming up here in the U.S., if you're in the U.S., you may be dealing with some difficult family members. But with this hermit mode, I feel there's a sense of how can I make something happen? How can I make something work? It almost has this magician quality to it because of the imagery on this particular card. How can I make something work that people are disagreeing with me on? So I feel like if you take this time to ignore the naysayers and just move forward anyway, because when you do something that other people don't want to do, sometimes it makes them feel uncomfortable because they're not doing it, right? So if you just ignore the naysayers and keep moving forward and, and come up with some plan on how to get this star, how to get this wish, this goal, this dream, right? Come up with that plan, really, really focus on it. I think you're gonna get what you want. As long as you don't let, let these people perhaps in your life that are focusing on something you did in the past interfere with your forward movement. We have a very happy communication coming in with the Page of Cups. Happy communication. It's gonna make you happy, it's gonna make you smile, it's gonna make you excited. And it may be exactly what you've been waiting for. If you've been waiting for somebody to communicate, it may be just that. If you've been waiting to hear news about a job, it very likely is just that. If you've been waiting to hear some sort of happy news about a personal endeavor, I feel it's coming, but it's very likely coming in, into November or towards the end of, uh, into December or towards the end of November. You got a tough one, Aries. It's all people related. So the choice is gonna be yours. Are you gonna let these people affect your energy negatively? Are you going to say, 
Forget their bullshit. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go make this happen. I'm gonna go make this dream happen. I'm gonna make this goal happen. I'm gonna make this job happen. I'm gonna move forward and get what it is that I want. You've got the energy to do it, Aries. You've got the know-how to do it. And your internal compass, your internal guidance, your intuition is already telling you it's possible. So here's this happiness, this overall energy of happiness, but I feel like you've got some family issues coming up. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. Go get you want, go get what you want. Don't let the past hold you back. And I will see you on your next reading. Love and light. Big hug from Kimmy. Until then, bye-bye. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.